Hey, good morning. It's a rough morning. Uh, um, today is, today it just feels worse because I think today, yesterday was the shock, but today, um, reality is setting in and I can, I can feel it. I just want to tell uh, everyone, thank you for your thoughts. Thank you for your prayers. Uh, thank you for your your text messages and your calls. Really, um, I really appreciate it. Just trying to, just trying to, to uh, just trying to understand all of this. I feel bad for my other kids, my kids. Man, my kids confused. They don't, they don't know what to do. Everybody sleep. Uh, I took a, a sleeping pill. I only slept for four hours. Yeah. I don't have an appetite. Peace, family. Peace meaning positive energy always creates elevation, man. Um, for what does it profit a man to gain the world yet lose his soul? Okay. For me, I feel like that's a powerful statement in a moment like this, man, because I have no doubt in my mind that Ricky Smiley is hurting from the loss of his son. You see what I'm saying? But uh, the fact of the matter that, you know, we know when situations like this take place, that it's a highly likely uh, event that he partook in it is, is even more sadder. Okay. And I think that's what's at this moment really hurting him the most. All right. And so I took the time to really, really, look into this situation since the last video that I uploaded because I really wanted to see, you know, if Ricky Smiley actually could have done something like this because as I said in the last video that I didn't truly believe that he was capable of doing something like this because he didn't do it, um, you know. I've never seen him try to do some things like this in all of his career, right? And I've been following him since Little Dura, right? But, um... I know it's a lot of people that's not going to like this video, man, but hey, I'm not here to appease to you or your feelings, okay? I'm here to state the facts, and I do feel like this is a teachable moment, man, because we have to understand, bro, that situations like this not only take place on the level of celebrity, but it happens on the everyday life, man, especially when we get into uh, the details in terms of how they're saying that his son actually passed, which is due to an overdose, okay? I keep telling you guys, man. Um, in which I talked about this situation, right, earlier earlier this year, for those of you who don't operate on the Gregorian calendar, right, I talked about the situation of how they are targeting drugs, man, and they use these same tactics over and over, right? And I feel like this is the same situation. We're seeing another celebrity son pass to, due to overdosing, okay? And so for me, this has, you know, for me, I'm going to say allegedly, it's, it's a sacrifice. I really do feel that way. And that's because, you know, there's no coincidence, bro, that after he spoke on the fact of his um, best friend, you know, possibly or actually passing to an overdose, because this is what they're saying that his best friend actually passed from the same way that he passed. And this was someone who actually lived under the same roof as Ricky Smiley, right? And I guess, you know, during this situation, um, he was also being accused of doing the same thing, okay? Because I want to say that his best friend um, was actually like a father to Ricky Smiley. I mean, or son, excuse me, was actually like a son to Ricky Smiley, right? And so he ended up passing the same way that his son, his biological son, ended up passing. And I guess everyone else was saying that, 
you know, Ricky Smiley has something to do with it. So I look at it like, you know, I don't believe in coincidences. And when we see him just upload a live speaking on this subject, and then I want to say a couple hours later, he ends up passing due to the same situation, bro. We have to look past the fact of um, everybody trying to say that things like this is a conspiracy, all right? You have to understand that these things actually are being done not only on the level of celebrity, but on the everyday life when it comes to people who are very ambitious and want to get things, you know, basically handed down to them, all right? And so, you know, that's just the um, that's just the fact of it all, right? And so this next clip we finna get ready to get into is actually going to be his son speaking on the fact of what happened to him. And I do really believe, not him, but his best friend. I really do believe that this is what uh, made them want to target him in this way because he admitted to actually um, doing drugs or taking pills with his uh, friend at the time. And I believe that since he admitted to this, they, being the people that watch all the time, right, was like, well, since he admitted to this, this would be the best way for us to go ahead and knock him out the way, you know. So, without further ado, man, let's let's get into this next clip. Hey, what's going on, family? Um, I've been seeing a lot of shit on social media regarding the passing of my brother, my good friend, Ronald Birdsong. And it's been a lot of, uh, people have been assuming shit or whatever on you know on both ends and i just want to sit the record straight because man byron's like this you know he was going through shit he, he told me the truth he kept 100 with me you know and there's a lot of shit that I, out there that's you know shouldn't be said or it's too much drama and i understand everybody grieving you know i'm grieving you know family grieving you know that death shit is real you know, overdosing and shit is real, man. And there's a lot of people saying that Bird committed suicide. Bird ain't committing no fucking suicide. Bird was too into the Bible to commit suicide. Bird was a strong believer in Jesus Christ. He wouldn't have did no shit like that. Now, he probably did overdose. I mean, he did that. You know, cause, you know, Bird took pills, you know. And if you really, really knew Bird, I mean, he already knew this shit. And you know he wasn't committing no suicide. Now, people saying that, you know, my dad was direct result of Ron committing suicide. I mean, not committing suicide, but overdosing. You know, I ain't gonna say that. No, that's not, Ron ain't, that didn't, that ain't really had nothing to do with that for real, for real. You can't really say, you know, he was the cause, my dad was the cause, Ricky Spiley was the cause of that. Because I, I don't think that's true. You know, my, my dad, he was good to burn. No, he was real good to Bird. He raised all of us, treated all of us the same, you know. Me and Bird grew up in the same house. You know, my dad didn't treat me no worse or no better around. We all, you know, we all was treated the same. My dad never showed favoritism, ever, you know. And, but I will say this, Bird, this comes from Bird mouth. You know, because I talked to Bird before he died. He was feeling some type of way about the job. You know, Bird came to me and was like, hey man, your dad said he's gonna hook me up with a job, but now I call, he won't call back, and, and this, that, and the other. And he, yeah, he felt some type of way. You know, he felt down, he kind of felt bad about it. Oh, uh, you know, uh, and, and that played into, you know, some, some of the depression that he had. <laughs> you know, so Bird, you know, he took pills to numb his pain. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think my dad was direct cause. I, I won't put that on my dad like that. Cause my dad was, like I said, my dad was good to all of us. You know, we all had the same chance growing up. And some of us took advantage of us, some of us dead. You know what I'm saying? And so, it's actually another footage of him. Well, the footage of this actually goes on and on to the point of what he said, how he know he did pills is because he actually did it uh, himself. He's done it, he's done it with Bird a couple of times, right? And I do feel like in that moment, you know, because of his, who his father is and, you know, and because of the possibility that they are or could have been trying to actually look for a situation in which to, you know, have uh, Ricky Smiley pay his dues, you know, they could have watched this and said, okay, well, we're going to capitalize off the moment since he has spoke these facts already to uh, to the world. You see what I'm saying? 
Not only that, we have to ask ourselves, man, what is the coincidence that two people under Ricky Smiley's roof actually transitions or passes away due to the same thing, which is overdosing? You, feel, you know what I'm saying? I can't, for me, that's not a coincidence, okay? One of them passes away for an overdose, and then after he gets done speaking about, um, you know, passing away, his, his friend passing away due to an overdose or his brother, um, then, you know, he ends up passing away due to an overdose. For me, that says foul play all over, man. We just have to start or stop, you know, allowing everybody to, you know, make us think that these type of things don't happen and just see things for what they really are, man. And that's just the big facts, bro, you know. That's that's what it is. Also, you know, I know you guys watched the last video in which um the guy who did the breakdown in terms of the Jamatra actually um put up an article about, you know, how they were saying that Ricky Smiley is one of the most um well known people in Hollywood right now or in the industry or well known wherever he's well known in terms of his celebrity and um you know he paid his dues. And for me I felt like that was just a, a sick way of talking about a situation in which he lost his child. You could have did a better way in elaborating, you know, on the subject at hand rather than saying he paid his dues to reach his level of um whatever they want to call it. But, you know, it to me, you didn't have to say that in a, the same sentence as you saying that he lost his son. So for me, that was a red flag, okay? But, you know, I do have a clip of that, man, because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, find the original article myself. I actually got this off of a uh, Sweet Cheese page. I want to say shout out to Sweet Cheese because she actually did a great job in terms of getting this article uh, out there. So I want you guys just to take a look at how this article was worded. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. I want you guys to follow closely with me. And you see that these words are in blue. Not the fact that he lost his son or anything else. Just one of the biggest names in entertainment is only in blue. And I know you guys, however, are not really paying attention when you're reading these articles. However, the elites in Hollywood throw this up in our faces and they don't expect for us to catch on to what they're trying to do and what has already been done. Now, once again, Tom Joyner did step down and he actually blessed, yes, blessed Ricky Smiley with that position for the top radio show host in America. Now, let us go over what the elites have shared with us and how Ricky Smiley was up due for a actual blood sacrifice after his daughters did not work out. And according to the elites, Ricky Smiley has become one of the biggest names in entertainment. His morning radio talk show is one of the most popular shows in America. Over the years, Ricky Smiley has paid his dues He's paid his dues, guys, rising the ranks to his current position. He's rose the ranks to his current position, and his son has passed away. While he has achieved so much, he's experiencing the type of loss that no parent ever wants to feel. This afternoon, Ricky Spally announced the loss of his son, Brandon. And in this one little paragraph, you guys can see how this was actually a blood sacrifice. They want you to know that Ricky Smiley has since became one of the biggest names in entertainment. He has a morning talk show that is one of the most popular shows in America. Everything is going so good for him in Hollywood. Ricky Smiley has rose above the ranks to his current position. While he's achieved so much, he's achieved so much. Now he is suffering the loss of his oldest son, Brandon. Guys, this is not hard to put this puzzle together. It's sitting right here in our faces. Why is he one of the biggest names in the entertainment, but it's not in blue that he's lost his son? He had to become one of the biggest names in entertainment and had to give a blood sacrifice in order to do so, to be recognized as one of the biggest names in entertainment. He was so big that Tom Joyner actually stepped down to bless him to go through the ranks to becoming one of the most popular shows across America. This right here is nothing but common sense. Now, t Sippers, while this whole paragraph is very telling and has red flags written all over it, there are some things that actually stood out in the order in which it was said. Now, it was stated that Ricky Smiley has paid his dues, rising the ranks 
to his current position, paying your dues. Ricky Smiley actually paid his dues, rising the ranks. What ranks are they referring to? And during this paragraph, they are speaking about the loss of his son. Why even mention that Ricky Smiley has paid his dues, rising the ranks to his current position? And we all know what his current position is. One of the biggest names in entertainment as his morning radio talk show is one of the most popular shows in America. And... I feel like that's the question that everybody is asking right now. Everybody want to know why was it worded the way that it was worded, all right? But one thing that wasn't mentioned in this this last scene that you guys seen or this last, you know, picture or, you know, video that I showed you guys is that I want to say maybe a couple days later after uh, he the guy who was actually hosting the, the, sto the, the show that he gave him stepped down, um, Ricky Smiley's daughter ended up getting – Shot multiple times after that. Okay. And so a lot do believe that that was a possible sacrifice that actually went wrong. Okay. And I mean, when we see things like this, bro, that's three people, three people. One uh, was in a possible situation where she could have lost her life and then two that actually did. So that leads us to ask certain questions. And one of them being like, what is really going on? You know, we have to let he who has ass see clearly in this situation, man, because I mean, how much more do we need to really, really look into this situation, all right? And so um, I do have another clip for you guys, man. And in so many words, I want to say Ricky Smiley, you know, he let the cat out the bag. Y'all, he was so hurt in the moment, man. I don't think he realized what he was actually saying, man. But nevertheless, he did say it, bro. And I want you guys to use discernment, man, um, when you look at this next video, man, because for me it's deep. Okay, and if you want to see the original video, just look up the video, man, about when, um, go to YouTube, look up the video about, uh, how Ricky Smiley actually made it. I want to say, I think it was Alabama or wherever it is that he went, was to, he went to actually, you know, go to attend the funeral and, or plan for the funeral and things like that. Um, just go check the video out, man, and you can see it in its full, you know, its full essence of the way that he stated it. But this next video for me is him basically saying, and admitting to the fact that, you know, he was aware of what was going on, man. I feel bad for her. Must have Miss Nichols up in Memphis. I feel bad for her. All the parents that had ever been through this. I just never thought I would be a member of an organization where you have to bury your, your, your kid. I just never thought I would be a member of an organization where you have to bury your, your, your kid. I just never thought I would be a member of an organization where you have to bury your, your, your kid. So it's a terrible, it's a terrible nightmare. So, I mean, you heard it out of his mouth, man. He said he just never thought he would be a part of a organization where he would actually have to bury his kids. And I believe that in that moment, he was truly hurt, you know, because you have to understand, man, in situations like this, I don't truly believe, man, that even though they know what's going on, that they're not shocked to the fact that it actually happened because, you know, he lost someone that could have been considered his, his son. But the fact of the matter is the one that he lost was not actually his blood son. And you have to understand, man, in situations like this, the fact that they have to actually stare into the people around them and into their face, knowing that they partook in the situation at hand, bro, it only eats them up inside more. You see what I'm saying? But nevertheless, we can't we can't take away from the fact that, you know, this is what Ricky Smiley does, man. He's an actor, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's an actor. So, you know, it's hard for us to actually tell if the hurt that he was portraying in this video was actually sincere, but... I mean, from my perspective, from, from my standpoint, I do really and truly believe that he was hurt, bro. He was hurt. The fact that he knew that he played a major part in his son's demise and, you know, he had to come and sit in front of his family and act like, you know, he didn't know what was going on and watch them, you know, actually hurt behind it. That's a hurtful feeling. I can believe it is hurt, but it don't take away from the fact that he did what he did, bro. And you never know. They may know. 
They may know because I keep telling y'all, his father was in the same organization. His father's father was in the same organization as well. And in his prior video or the video that I showed you prior to this, uh, he actually said now he knew what his grandfather went through when he lost his son. You see what I'm saying? And it's a possibility that his father, you know, which was well, his grandfather's son, which was Ricky Smiley's actual father, could have been um, a victim of the same circumstances. All right. And so you could just tell you could tell that he felt a certain way, you know, by the uh, feelings that was expressed in his next next video. My mom is here. I never seen my mother. But just the look of just my mom just looks so like sadness in her eyes. My mama talked to my son yesterday morning. They were supposed to go to church. She was going to go pick him up and take him to church. She texted him back for the address and he didn't respond. An hour and a half after that. Uh, or maybe two hours, he was gone. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Um, we serve an awesome God, though. I thank God for, for giving him to us. I feel bad for my son's mother more than anything. I feel bad for her. All the parents that got to bury their kids or had to bury their kids, I know what it feels like. Now, I want to say, man, if this is true, if in fact this is true, this is something that he's going to most definitely uh, suffer from in the next lifetime or even in the afterlife, okay? It's called karma because we know that one of the, the biggest laws of the universe is karma, okay? And that karma is something that he could actually suffer during the afterlife or in his next lifetime. There's going to be a large a large karmic debt that he's going to have to pay off. Also, he just took the karma, karmic debt of whatever his son um, took on within the last couple of years. I know it's a lot of y'all going to come across this video and y'all ain't going to believe in that. You probably don't believe in reincarnation and things like that. But just know that he's going to have to atone to, the, to whatever it is that he did, if in fact he did do this, man. But we have to understand it, bro. This is the step that's, that they have to take in order to grow. You know what I'm saying? In order to get all of the things that they want and being a part of the organizations that they choose to be a part of, okay? I know it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be disappointed because, you know, it's a lot of people that come across these videos that have actually partook in these same organizations and are still partaking in these same organizations. But guess what? This is the truth, man, and this is what I was chosen to do. I was chosen to ensure that the truth was put out there to be able to wake up not only the people that's in my age group and above, but the youth as well, because the youth is most definitely the next generation. And right now, as we walk into their generation, they're the ones who stand the stuff for the most. All right. So, you know, I feel like it's necessary that they understand, bro, what it is if they want to possibly get into this industry and what it is that they need to look for in terms of the people that's around them every day. We see things like this take place every day in society and we overlook it because, you know, a situation like this where they make it look like it was a drug-induced homicide or in other situations where they try to make it look like it was a natural cause, okay? These are the things that we need to be aware of. I've spoken on this on several occasions, y'all. So, you know, this is what's going on. They're actually not only attacking the food, but they're attacking the drugs as well because they understand that majority of society associates having a good time with doing drugs, okay? So at this time, man, we need to be still, y'all, and that's facts. We need to make sure that we paying attention to our surroundings, bro, and who we are uh, allowing to come into our circles. We need to pay attention to that most definitely. I don't care who they are, you know what I'm saying? I always tell y'all, man, never allow yourself to get comfortable, man, with nobody because once you start to... Uh, get comfortable, then you allow yourself to become vulnerable, okay? Because you will start to say, this can't be done to me. My people love me too much, so on and so forth. They will never do this to me. When in all actuality, man, if you don't vibrate at a certain frequency, then um, material things, man, you will do anything for it, such as give up your child, all right? And so with that being said, man, you know, if you ain't following me on YouTube, please get over to YouTube at I Am Awakened. And follow me on I Am Awakened. Also, please do not forget to uh, follow me on Instagram 
at I am awakened underscore chosen one man. And um, I just want to leave you guys I came. I want you guys to always, always be aware. Because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family. Peace, meaning positive energy. Always creates elevation. Ashamed.